Hello, this is Chow Daniel from winesfromitaly.com. Today I'm going to talk about Barbaresco. Uh, so we're going to start off with the word Barbaresco itself. Barbaresco is a town in Piedmonte, so it's a, the, the wine has a geographical name uh, related to the town of Barbaresco. Let's take a look at it on the map. So Italy, all the way up into Piedmonte, which means foot of the mountains, the Alps are here, is Piedmonte, and here's the town of Elba, right here. And Elba is the center point of Barolo and Barbaresco. So uh, west of there, a little bit, is where you can make Barbaresco. So you can't make it anywhere in Piedmonte, just in specific approved areas of Piedmonte, around the town of Barbaresco, around the town of Neve, and some other areas, always have to be on hillsides, always have to be 100% Nebbiolo grape. Nebbiolo, that's the famous grape of uh, Piedmonte. Interesting enough, it seems to only do well in Piedmonte. So Barbaresco, and we have three Barbaresco producers, but first we'll talk about it a little bit. 100% Barbaresco, and it has to be aged at least two years, and for a Reserva, it has to be aged four years. So about 10 miles from the Barbaresco area is the area where you can make Barolo, also 100% Nebbiolo. What's the difference? Well, there is a difference. Uh, Barbaresco is in a different area. It has a slight maritime influence. Uh, it's a little bit warmer, and um, the soils are different. The terroir is different. So Barbaresco ripens a little earlier than Barolo does. The tannins are a little bit softer than Barolo, but obviously there's a lot of similarities, but softer tannins, smoother, ripens earlier. And when they make the wine, they have a little shorter maceration period. Otherwise, it's left on the grapes for a, uh, on the grapes for a shorter period of time before they press it and make the wine. So that's the difference between Barbaresco, Barolo. It used to be called the king and the queen, but those are old terms. Uh, but now we'll get into um, our producers. We have um, Punset. Punset is an iconic. Barbaresco producer. Marina Macarina is the owner and the winemaker. She's iconic in as much as she, her winery got the first organic certificate in Italy of any wine, and she is biodynamic, the wine, the wine's biodynamic, not her, I guess. And um, she only makes Barbaresco reservas. And um, she, um, and so she makes two types. One is, I'll call it a normal reserva. So it's in a larger boti, which is the larger cask. And she makes one in the style in barrique. A barrique is a 60 gallon oak barrel, French oak barrel, hence the name barrique. And so it has more oak influence than the boti. Two different styles. She's also an artist. The artwork you see on the labels is what Marina created. So again, an iconic producer, um, started some of the organic and biodynamic organizations in Italy, the first organic winery, just fantastic wines. Then we'll go over to our friends at Vita Colti. Vita Colti is a cooperative. In Italy, they call it a sociale. And they have their one that we have, they call it La Casa in Colina, the house in the hills. And there's a picture of it. And again, they name their wines after uh, famous authors' books from Piedmonte. So this is the name of a book that's well known there, and they named their, their Barbaresco after it. So this is just an excellent value, value and quality, always highly rated Barbaresco, La Casa in Colina. Thirdly, we have La Atore. Ah, this is interesting because um, this is a label from a famous winery, a second label, which I, I think it's the only one I have in that category. And so um, what they do, they can vary. Separate labels can, second labels can be lesser wines. They can be the same wine that they just have a surplus of that they want to sell. And that's what I believe this is. 
Uh, they requested that I not use publicly the name of the winery because they don't want to be associated with something that costs less for the same quality. But if you get a bottle, look on the back, you can see who it is. But anyway, La Atore, also in Neve, in, um, in the temp near the town of Neve in uh, Piedmonte, the same as Punset. So these elegant wines, and Barbaresco is elegant, Nebbiolo, what are you getting there? Well, you're getting, on, on the bouquet, you're getting uh, roses and violets. And then in the body of it, what are you getting there? You're getting dark cherries, you're getting licorice, some fennel. And, and, you're, and what happens is, as they age, they change, and that component varies. So Nebbiolo, one of the most sophisticated uh, wines in the world, and Barbaresco, one of the most elegant wines in the world. Thanks for listening. This is Chow Daniel.